I believe it'll contain a whole lot of challenges, a whole lot of assessments. I, I am going into uni wanting to be a top student, so I want to get HDs in all of my subjects. And I really, I think I can. I really want it to be a memorable and exciting experience because I'm the first in my family to ever attend university. This semester definitely, um, apart from the studies, which is really important, um, joining all the clubs. I don't uh, know anyone in Perth. You know, when I was thinking of coming here, I was, I was afraid because I didn't know what I expect. I have not been. Uh, to Australia before. It's my first time. I was told that uh, Australian education system is very different from Pakistan and Asian countries. So I had some fears of, I don't know what kind of people I'm going to meet, what kind of environment I'm going to. I actually didn't have any idea. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to do. I haven't studied this hard before. I'm going to try to like manage my time because that's like a really that's a really sore point for me. I'm really bad at managing my time. When I reached here, it's totally different from the culture. Not only is the culture is different, it's because Australia is a developed country, things are much advanced here. Sometimes I was feeling strange when somebody is crossing me and they were they are giving me a smile. I was not expecting this from someone uh, I never know. So these are some of the good things which attracts me a lot and uh, I feel comfortable in this place. Nervous, excited, um, happy that I'm finally a uni student. Um, but ultimately uh, it's the transition semester. It should be enriching and um, I'm, I'm truly excited. These are all real uh, reflections and real experiences. My story on how I, how difficult it was and how I managed to move on, you know, how I managed to get through. They, it should inspire them and feel that, okay, she did it, why can't we? So my name is Milana Patterson and I'm a recent high school graduate from Newman College studying a Bachelor of Science. I'm majoring in Physiology and Business Law, which is unusual combo, um, but they complement each other. My name is Colin Evan Ryota Suryachitra, but people usually um, just call me Colin. And I'm 18 years old and I'm studying a Bachelor of Science double majoring in Psychology. Oh, I'm from um, a small um, city called Malang, that's in East Java, in Indonesia, so that's like next to Bali. I'm really proud of my name, <laughs> the fact that um, Surya Chitra means sunshine, and my Chinese name Huang Keling means yellow, oh, Huang, that's yellow, that's the family name, and Keling means, apparently it means um, leader of science, so there you go. <laughs> Hopefully I can be a professor in the family, make my parents proud, but we'll see about that. I'm Amina and I will be studying Masters of Education over here. I was uh, eager to take a course which, came, which will be offered for one year, not more than that, because I have already done my Masters uh, from a reputed university in Pakistan. Before coming to a University of Western Australia, I was uh, working as a research officer with an NGO there. Uh, my name is Andrew Muggeridge and I am studying uh, political science and anthropology and sociology in the Bachelor of Arts. I come from a small town down on the south coast of WA called Denmark, not to be confused with the country. Um, I grew up there, I lived there for 17 years um, and we were very poor, so sort of in the lower end of the town, but it was alright. Um, my name is Maxwell Watkins, I'm currently studying a Bachelor of Commerce and hoping to major in Business Law and Management. And I'm from Karafa, which is a small regional mining town about 1800 kilometres north of Perth. I'm Ruth Madenge. I'm studying Master of Geoscience. Uh, I'm from Kenya and my background, having done a Master's of 
having done a bachelor's degree in geology, I decided to advance to know what I would now be taking Master of Geoscience here. Yeah. My name is Sayyid Muzaffar Ali Bukhari, but you can call me Muzaffar, and I'm studying Master's uh, in Geoscience. I belong to Balochistan, uh, most uh, big, uh, it's the biggest and most deprived province of Pakistan. So I wanted to do something for my province. That's why I decided to study more, research more, to gain some skills and knowledge regarding uh, the field of geology and mining. So that's why I decided to come here. I'm Thelma McCauley. I'm studying biomedical science. I'm 15 and I was homeschooled, well it was distance education technically, but with this school in Albany. It's called Australian Christian College Southland and yeah, I just finished year 12 early. I basically can't stop schooling until I'm 18 because that's like a law, so I just thought I might as well apply for UWA, see where it takes me. I am Tashi, uh, Tashi Dema, and I'm from Bhutan. Uh, it's a, Bhutan is a small country between two giant neighbors, India and China. I come from a very remote village. My parents are farmers. Uh, I grew up uh, in a village which had no electricity, that had no road connection. Mm, I grew up uh, herding cattle. Uh, I'll be pursuing Masters of International Journalism here in UWA. Um, the first couple of days were a bit nervous because it was just I was the only one who came down from Karafa. And so the first couple of days were nervous, but we had orientation week and that was a lot of fun. Had great time and made lots of friends so now I feel quite settled in. Yeah we just did campus tour and then there was a lot of um, ice breaking activities <laughs> where they tried to get us to make friends with each other. It was it was really good there was like it was like really good weather and it was really fun there was a lot of free stuff. I have I think four friends that I made in orientation week and they're doing biomedical science as well. And some of our lectures were the same that we chose. Yeah, oh, that was a lot of fun. Signed up to a few different clubs. So yeah, it was really good. I actually, um, I went to O'Day and I joined eight clubs. <laughs> I was really enthusiastic. I, um, I was the first person to um, sign up for Indo Society, French Club, Dramatic Society. I'll show you my, um, my card. So, whoops. Okay, so that's my, that's MSU. I joined MSU and Chinese Society so I can get discounts as well as like participate as their members. That's my student card. Don't look at the photo. And I joined like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So a total of nine. Also, I was part of the Flying Start program, the Uni Skills Flying Start program, and that was fantastic. So I pretty much knew like UWA before um, the other people um, attended the O'Day O'Week. I joined up to too many. <laughs> I can barely see Winthrop Hall on my student card. Um, yeah, I joined um, Christian Union, which I've, uh, you know, I've been interacting with quite a few contacts from Christian Union so far. They've sort of ushered me into the UWA community um, quite welcomingly and warmly. Um, also, Science Union, um, air comms, leisure, as you do. Before coming to this university, I was not aware who, is, who will be with me in this course. But uh, during that IAP session, I met few people from uh, Bhutan in Indonesia, uh, and two of them are studying with me in the same course. Uh, it was really a good arrangement for us again, because uh, we were a bit reluctant about the whole process of en enrolling, which is not uh, the same in our country. So I was thinking, if I will miss any step, what going to happen? Might be uh, in the middle of the semester, I might be face, I, I will be facing any problem. So, but uh, it was not like that. They orient us uh, step by step. I, I don't know. How, I mean, still I'm learning swimming. Uh, I have uh, registered myself uh, in uni swim, uh, swimming pool, and I have registered myself in gym, and uh, I have registered myself in um, cricket club. Trying to be sporty because uh, in my country I will I will not get this chance of playing and all that because the uh, woman is not that much allowed to go outside play in the ground and 
you know, run on the road and something. So, I mean, a lot, lot of things are going on. And uh, yeah, I, I, I think it, it would not be a good idea if I, if I just study here. Uh, I have so many things to learn here. So I just want to gain, you know, as much as I, as I can. One a good thing is that uh, my relatives were already here, so I'm staying with them, but uh, they are quite far away from the university, so I have to take train and then I have to take bus, which is a bit hectic and time consuming. I've been lost like six times and I've had like seven classes. <laughs> um, no, I've, I've no idea where anything is. It's an enormous school. It's super confusing. But there is the, the uh, Lost on Campus app and the UWA Students app, both of which are really useful if you have internet. I feel fairly confident that I can find all my lectures and get there on time. The people are friendly. In fact, even at times when I would give and get lost and ask me the direction, people, somebody would take time and direct you until now you feel... Uh... Uh, yeah, I, I live very near to university, but I have been to uh, three beaches and a few other places like Kings Park and City. So yes, I like it. I mean, I, uh, in Pakistan, you know, um, my city uh, is in inland. Uh, it, ha it doesn't have beaches or things like that. So it is new uh, for me, but I'm liking it, yeah. Um, the campus is getting smaller and smaller each day. So I'm finding little shortcuts and, you know, backdoor entrances to lecture theatres and whatnot. Um, Still, it's no less beautiful, a campus. Um, I suppose knowing your way around just kind of adds to the experience. Um, it becomes more of a home to you. Um, my impression, well, I've been to at least one lecture for all of my units. Um, my impression, well, I absolutely adored my accounting lecture. Um, Oh, the same goes for my um, anatomy lecture. Um, lots of people looking nervous. <laughs> I have been taking notes, which is good. Uh, but it's also available online as well, so I don't, I don't feel compelled to type out everything that I'm being told. Um, some of them were a bit slow at first because they going over the same information about LMS and how that all works. So I think as the next couple of weeks go on, they'll pick up a bit more. So I think that'll be really enjoyable. You know, initially I was afraid because, you know, having been grown up in Africa, the accent is different from here. So my main fear was, will I understand the accent? <laughs> at least to, to be uh, at par with the lecture. I feel it's comfortable, I'm, I'm okay. In um, science communication, the, it was like a substitute lecturer, so she just went over everything we're going to do and stuff, but it only took 15 minutes, so it was really cool. Um, the first week, we don't have workshops and we don't have, um, well, for the most part, we don't have labs and practicals. So it's hard to sort of gauge um, what the dynamics of our uni lifestyle is uh, going to be. Um, uh, yeah, taking each day as it comes and, and um, us sort of planning from there. Yes, um, I attended my uh, first course yesterday and it's really a good experience because I never had an experience of that small classes and it was like face-to-face -face discussion with the facilitator and I was uh, enjoying a lot because I was not feeling like the facilitator is our teacher. I was feeling like he's our friend. Uh, we can share everything, whatever I have learned or I can build on what I already know. So. I was feeling great yesterday. Um, I'm a bit nervous about my studies and hoping I can get back into a routine of studying, but I'm still a bit unsure just how much workload it is because since I've never had any older siblings or other family members going, I've never had a clear idea of just how much study it is, but I think over time I'll learn and learn how to handle it. Well, today actually I started my first class. I found that uh, I mean teachers are very helping and uh, I mean I liked it and uh, I mean today uh, that material basically is not uh, you know it's not a stranger for me it is very familiar Mater material is very familiar and the uh, way of teaching is different but very easy 
uh, like pa- Pakistan, we have you know just one-way traffic. Teacher is giving lecture, and the students are uh, most of the time they are not allowed to ask questions or interact interact with the with the teachers or the student. But here, I mean, one can feel very comfortable in the class. I mm, I may or may not be aiding my words. <laughs> I'm stressed. Hmm. I think I'll be pretty exhausted. I'll be um a bit tired or exhausted, tired. Probably hungover and <laughs> really tired. Um, I surely hope that um my social a- the social aspect of my uni experience has been enhanced. Um, I also suspect that um well I'm I'm intending to do well academically. Um, but it may also be a learning curve. I may not do as as well as I intended to. Um, I I'm excited, but I don't think I'll be able to judge how I feel. It has it depends on how much I pull myself together and and actually work, which I'm hoping is going to be you know good. And if it is, then I'm going to be really happy with the progress I've made. I'll probably still be coping, knowing that um, well after having attended um like study smarter programs and yeah i should be fine <laughs> i hope so i hope so yes i hope so by the end of semester i i would be aware you know many technical skills uh, which i really wanted to learn uh, from perth so i think uh, I, i will be good yes i I'm really hoping that I'll by then I'll gain more confidence uh, my command uh, I can my command over English could be much better because then I'll always be using this language I'll I'll, I'll, I'll keep uh, yeah communicating and I will be used to the environment here used to the academic culture here yeah that's it <laughs> uh it will be a, i believe it will be a great opportunity especially turning back and seeing what you have achieved the fears at the beginning of the semester and now you have managed it's a bit exciting just to flash back and see a tree now that is done so even the rest of the semesters you, you feel even more confident you have managed yeah